All right, so let's get started. Um, I advertise this class as a heart opener class. And I feel like, well, here's, here's how I got that idea. You, most of you know that I have a favorite tree that I watch year round in Sugar House Park whenever I walk. And I keep an eye on her as um, just a sign of the seasons. She's always a few steps ahead of the rest of the world and I just watch her. And right now her um, buds, they're not tight like this. They're kind of tight like this. They're just starting to think about this opening into spring. And I feel like with everything we've been going through, our hearts um, have been encased with fear, um, especially those of you that live where there are earthquakes still happening. But this virus has us all living in this encasing of fear, and it feels like our hearts have been like this. And then we get isolated to our homes, and it makes it even worse. So. Today, what I'd offer is um, a heart opening practice that is not designed to make our hearts do this because it's not summer yet, right? Nature's not ready to have that full explosion. But this workout, this practice is designed to help our hearts open like this. So, would you all do that with me? Just bring your hands together in front of your chest and squeeze your hands into just a tight fist that kind of feels like winter, like protection. This is where the buds on the trees have been, and it's probably where a lot of our hearts are right now. So just soften the grip just a little. And then maybe just separate your fingers a little bit more so you're still holding, but there's space around the heart. There's space around that bud. And that's what we're going to be looking for today in this practice is just a little opening, a little more space for the heart. So we you start in a comfortable position, seated, maybe with something under you if that feels helpful. I am gonna use a block today for a couple of the postures. So if you have a block or a pillow nearby, you can grab that. And when you get comfortable, close your eyes and start to take some deep breaths through your nose. I found a sutra for today, and a sutra just means like a little thought, just a little nugget of information. This is from the Radiance Sutras, and it's Radiance Sutra number 103. Abandon all these attitudes of wanting to prolong pleasure and avoid suffering. Let the heart be itself and feel whatever is there. Freed from clinging and avoiding, the heart regains its poise and revels in creation, plunging deep into its center. Discover that the heart is moved by a pulse that is everywhere. So in these first few breaths, just notice what is happening right now around your heart. And know that it all gets to be here. The fear has its place. The frustration has its place. The unpleasant has its place. We need darkness to point us to light. So whatever shows up here in your body, in your emotional experience, your energy, can you just allow it to be here? We'll just observe what is present with us here now. I'm gonna begin with a breath called Ramari breath. So I'd like you to bring one or both of your hands over your heart. And this is the breath of the humming bee. So we're gonna start with humming. The practice of humming vibrates every single cell of our body. So we're gonna take a deep breath in and then just hum on the exhale. So when you're ready, breathe deeply. Mm. 
And just continue that a few times. Deep breath in with a long hum on the exhale. We'll do two more times, long hum, exhales. And then just notice, just notice your heart, your chest, your breath. As we begin moving today, we'll do a lot of movements designed to just bring awareness to chest and shoulders and upper back. So I'm gonna ask you to just keep coming back to the awareness of what's here. What's happening? So go ahead and find a place on your mat where you can take your legs out wide <clears throat> and sit into a seated straddle position. And with the legs out in a straddle position, again, you can sit on something if you like, but just sit with a nice tall spine, shoulders roll down your back, heart lifted a little. And we're gonna take our right hand out in front of us and then our left arm behind us and just let your arm start to bring you into a twist. The left arm comes behind you to the floor and the right hand can either be on the floor or against your leg. Inhale with a tall spine, and exhale to deepen the twist. Take a few breaths there, each breath in making you feel taller. Each breath out, wringing out your spine. Take one more nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, rotate the arms out in front of you so the left arm is forward, the right arm is back. Use that right arm as your kickstand, left hand either in front of you or on your leg. And then again, begin that breath of inhale, tall spine. Exhale, deeper twist. You might notice your whole torso feeling this twist. Where do you find your attention going? Where in your body do you most notice this shape? Take one more deep breath in. And on the exhale, unwind your body. Wiggle your legs in together and give them a little shake on the floor. And then let's take our right leg over our left leg and we're gonna cross it quite a bit. So up pretty high so that it feels like your knees are stacked. If your hips are kind of tight, this might feel good to be up on your block or a bolster or pillow if you have that. So you can stay here with the bottom leg extended, or if your hips feel ready or interested in this, you can stack your knees like we do in Gomu Kasana or Cow Space Pose. So when you find your comfortable seat, interlace your fingers, palms to your face. I'm going to take a deep breath in and exhale, press the palms forward. Inhale, arms reach overhead. And then palms turn down, exhale to round your spine. And let's do a few breaths like that. Inhale to lift the palms. Palms turn down on the exhale, round your back. 
And just continue moving at the pace of your breath. Your elbows can be bent or straight. You can close your eyes. We'll be here for a few more lift and lower breaths. And the next time the arms come up, let's pause there, palms to the ceiling or sky, and then just lean side to side. Just let your body move side to side and start to notice that space around your armpits, your side ribs, your torso. Noticing for a moment that this is really a joyful place to be. In the middle of all the crazy, this moment, being in your body and moving, you can find joy right here. Coming to center, release your hands, open your arms like cactus arms. And just in your mind's eye, picture that bud just living inside of your chest just barely thinking about waking up to a spring day. Inhale, exhale, pull your elbows down a little farther. Inhale, lift, and exhale, pull your elbows down towards your back. One more time, lift, and lower. Let your hands come to the knee that's on top and on, cross your legs. We're going to take the legs out in front of us and shake them out. And just give them a little pound on the floor. Spine stays tall, neck stays loose. And then we'll switch, placing the left knee on top of the right. And you can hug that foot in kind of close to you. This is a great place to stay. Or if you'd like, you can wrap that other foot underneath you. One of my teachers calls this the knee pile pose. Like the knees are in a pile. So once you get comfortable there, press your hips down and reach your arms up high. Interlace your hands and then bring them down in front of your face and look at which thumb is closest to you. Now we're gonna switch the hands. So switch so that the other thumb is in front, the other Point your fingers in front and your hands are in the abnormal way of interlacing. And we'll press up again. Deep breath in. And exhale. Palms come down and forward. Round as much as you can. And just start to move here with your breath. Getting as much breath into the space of your ribs and around your heart as you possibly can. And the next time we reach up, let's pause here with palms to the sky and just move to the side. Inhale and exhale back to center. Just moving with your breath. Just letting your sitting bones connect to the earth and your torso find some height and some room. This might even make you yawn, just taking in more oxygen. Back to center, release the hands, reach high. Exhale, pull the elbows down towards your side. Just picturing that bud opening. Just thinking about peeking out behind the curtains into the sunlight. One more time, big reach. Elbows down, chest open, and release your fingers to the floor. Let's uncross our legs, and we're gonna come into Baddha Konasana or butterfly position. So your feet can be as close or far as you'd like them to be. And just find that tall, comfortable spine here. 
again, sitting on a block if that feels more helpful to you. So let's take the left hand to the floor on the side of us and reach the right arm right up by the air and we'll take a deep breath in, bending over to the left. And just let your head hang on this one. Just let your head hang down. You might even move your neck around a little bit to see if you can find a place where the neck feels interesting. You're pressing your right sitting bone into the ground and pulling your right shoulder up and out. And then keep your head where it is, but let that right arm come out to the side and reach not to the floor, but toward the floor. Like you're trying to reach your right fingers away, feeling space in the right side of your neck. this place of voice, the space where we are able to talk about our fear, our concerns and our joy, our expression right here, to see if you can open up that space a little bit. And then use this right arm to pull you back to a seat. The left arm can press the head back to neutral. And just rest here with your eyes closed for a second. Notice the right side of your body. And we'll place the right hand on the floor. Left arm comes right up by the ear. Inhale tall and then start to exhale into your side bend toward the right side. Feeling an opening and some space in your left ribs, your left armpit, your left lung. Just let your head come down, maybe move around a little bit, find something interesting in your neck. We're looking for an edge, something that's interesting but not painful. And then keeping your head there, reach the left arm out toward the left side, hovering over the ground and just let those fingers reach long. Noticing now the left side of your neck. This neck is the space between our heart and our, our brain. And it seems like we have the best communication when those two parts of us are working together, our head and our heart. When we speak from one or the other, sometimes we don't get the whole picture. So just opening up the space between our head and our heart. And then let that left arm reach you back to center. Pause for just a moment to notice now the left side of your body. Notice whole body just sitting here. This, this welcoming whatever is here. And then just slowly come into a butterfly forward fold. You might scoot your feet out a little bit farther away from you and just let your torso be heavy. The chin comes down toward the chest, the head down toward the feet. You might just close your eyes here and just notice that this is a little different energy. Forward folds are postures of surrender. Notice what the back of your heart is noticing here. And as we come back up to center, find your tall spine. We'll extend the legs again, and we're gonna come back into that Gomukhasana seat. So let's bring the right leg over. You can stay here or cross the bottom leg under. See if this time is a little easier or more accessible. 
And then let's bring our left arm up into a right angle. So this is going to sound a little complicated. It's really not. In this position with your arm in this right angle, pull your shoulder blade down your back. Just pull that left shoulder blade down and push your elbow toward your screen. So shoulder blade down, elbow forward. It's almost like you're trying to make this bone longer. And then bring your right hand to the inside of that elbow and press. So now you've got three things going on, shoulder blade down, elbow forward, and hugging in. You should feel a lot of heat and work happening around your left shoulder, your left armpit. And then just keep that strength there as you wrap your arms, left arm under right. We're moving into eagle arms. So you can either just kind of give yourself a hug here or you can wrap your arms. Maybe the hands come to touch. So wherever your arms are, lift your elbows and sit as tall as you can. Fingers reach toward the screen and breathe deep. As you're breathing here, you might even move your arms up a little on the inhale and squeeze them down a little on the exhale. When we squeeze our armpits, we're stimulating our lymph nodes, our lymphatic system. We're helping our body have better immunity, better ability to release any toxins. We could all use a boosted immune system right now. Feel what's happening in the back of your heart as you slide those shoulder blades up and down. And on the last time, reach your fingers forward as far as you can. Pull breath into the back of your body. Release your arms and let them be wide. Just let your arms come out wide like wings. And release your hands to the earth. Extend both legs straight out in front of you. Give them a little shake. Let's bring the arms up and we'll exhale down into a seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. So you can bring your hands wherever they come, moving more from the hips than the spine and just allow yourself again to surrender into a forward bend. Each exhale, body reaches forward and down. Just being with whatever is here now, this, this breath, this shape, this season of our lives just as it is. I'm slowly coming back up from your forward fold. We'll cross our left leg over our right leg. You can stay here or wrap the other leg under. Maybe that's getting a little easier now. And when you feel situated here, bring your right arm up into this right angle. Pull your right shoulder blade down behind you and point your right elbow forward. So imagine trying to make this bone longer. So right shoulder blade down, right elbow forward. And bring your left hand to the inside of the right elbow and press. Right hand presses, left elbow presses. Really squeeze, isometric contraction. Shoulder blade down, elbow forward, press. Building heat and strength. Those of you who are teachers know we're doing a little bit of PNF stretching here. Preparing the muscle. And as you release, cross your right elbow under your left. If your shoulders are really tight, you can just rest here, give yourself a hug. If you'd like, you can wrap the arms farther into eagle, eagle arms. 
And there we go. So just breathing with a tall spine. Elbows forward a little, hands forward. And then let's begin that breath of lifting on the inhale and squeezing, massaging our lymphatic system on the exhale. Just imagine all the goodness that's happening around your heart right now. All this squeezing and releasing, stimulating fresh oxygen and blood flow through your lungs and your heart. One more time, lift and exhale all the breath out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then let's open the arms like wings, taking flight. Just pause right here. Arms open, heart open, mind open. And then release. We'll take our legs out again, straight out in front of us, moving into that seated forward fold. So lift tall from the hips, exhale all the way over your legs. You can walk your hips back. And just find a comfortable, yet a little bit challenging, forward fold. Abandon all these attitudes of wanting to prolong pleasure and avoid suffering. Let the heart be itself and feel whatever is there. Freed from clinging and avoiding, the heart regains its poise and revels in creation, plunging deep into its center. As we release that pose, I'm gonna roll down onto our backs. We're gonna do a little bit of ab work or core work to bring attention to the torso. So if you have a block, you can bring it with you. Um, if not, you could grab a pillow or something else to just put your hands on. But before we start with block, let's bring our arms to our sides and you're gonna turn your palms up first. So you're not pressing with your hands. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, pull your rib cage down into the earth. Pull the back bottom ribs, the middle back down into the earth. And then on the inhale, lift your heels and let both of your feet come up. Your back is pressing to the earth. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press the back ribs into the floor even more forcefully. Keep your back there, breathe in. And exhale, release your feet. The back stays pressing down. Exhale. So let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. Ribs press to the ground. Lift your legs. Exhale. Deep breath in. Press your back down. Exhale, feet to the floor. So you can keep doing that. Or if you'd like a little more challenge, grab a hold of your block. And you're gonna hold your block the wide way like this, just over your shoulders. You're gonna squeeze in on that block with the same movement. So deep breath in. Back ribs hug down to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. Squeeze your block, press your back, deep breath in. Exhale, lower your leg. Don't let your back come off the floor. We do that one more time. Breath in. Back hugs to the floor. Breath in, legs come up. Exhale, hold. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the back, stays down. One more breath in. Exhale to hug your back down. Release your block to the side of you. 
let your arms come down to the sides and we're going to start to move through flowing bridge so your fingertips can come close to your heels on the inhale lift the legs lift the hips lift the ribs lift the chest and exhale to roll down one vertebra at a time so just moving with your own breath you can close your eyes here we'll do several of these Breathing in to roll up, and breathing out to roll down. The next time your hips are up, pause here and you can just rest your arms at your side or if you like, start to walk your hands toward each other underneath you and just come into a bigger opening across your shoulders. You can draw your chin a little bit away from your chest and just feel the front of your body expanding with breath. Picturing that bud on a tree, just starting to peel open, not forced, just gently peeling open in this first week of spring. One more deep breath in. And on the exhale, release your hands, drop your hips to the earth, and let your knees come in to give yourself a little hug. And just start to move around on your back. Right and left corner to corner, feeling whatever you feel. And then we're gonna drop our knees to the left. So you might just shift your body a little bit so that as your knees drop to the left, the top hip is stacked over the bottom hip and the sacrum seems pretty perpendicular and flat toward the floor. Let your left arm extend out to the side and bring your right arm straight up to the ceiling. If you're laying here on your side with your right arm straight up, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, let that right arm fall out to the floor. Your head can follow. We're going to do that a couple more times. So just inhale the arm to the ceiling. You can come all the way over the other arm if you like. And then open that arm all the way out. Just find a pattern of moving with your breath. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you bring that arm up and over. And then let's settle into that twist with the right arm on the floor, the head turned to the right, knees stacked. You can use your left hand to just put some weight on that top leg. And then exaggerate your breath here. Breathe more deeply than you have been breathing. Filling up and emptying out. Finding joy in this moment, this shape, these breaths. Your good health in this moment. Let's bring ourselves back to center. Pause here to notice your spine, your chest, your arms, your hips. And then we'll just shift to the other side. So shift your weight over to your right hip. Let your knees fall to the right. And the right arm is on the floor, the left arm to the ceiling. Make sure your hips are stacked, your sacrum is flat. And then take a deep breath in, arm reaching. On the exhale, let your arm fall to the left. Your gaze follows to the left. And you can start to move that arm back and forth with breath, maybe closing it all the way over the other arm. A great big clamshell opening and closing.
The next time your arm comes out, let's pause in a twist. Head turns left, shoulders rest on the floor. Deep, slow, exaggerated breaths. Soften your face. Release any tension around your neck. And just breathe here. And slowly returning that left arm over so that you're laying on your right side in this little curled up fetal or a baby position. We're gonna press ourselves up and come around to a kneeling position. You can face either direction, just stacking your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. I'm gonna do a chest opener, um, it's kind of a dolphin-y kind of thing. So we're gonna bring our forearms down to the ground and let's interlace our hands. And the hips are stacked up over the, over the knees. You're gonna just come forward even more. Sometimes this is also called puppy pose. And then just go ahead and let your head hang down toward the ground. You might even press forehead to the earth feeling a tremendous opening and stretch around your triceps, armpits, and shoulders. And you can just keep walking your hands forward as much as you like. You might even try to separate your hands for a little bit more opening and sensation here. Deep breaths. Filling up, emptying out, noticing the heart space, front and back, side to side. And then bringing the head up and the elbows back in a bit, let's lift up into dolphin. So we're gonna turn the toes under and lift the hips toward the ceiling. Pressing down through the hands, just let your head, heads off the floor. Let your head come through your arms as much as possible. You might pedal out your heels, just noticing strength in the upper body. A lot of people find this to be a challenging pose, building upper body strength. Stay with your breath. Hold this pose for five, four, three, two, and one. Release your knees to the earth. And then come back to a tabletop position and we are going to thread the needle. So from tabletop, bring your left arm out to the side and let that arm come all the way up high. On the exhale, scoop the left arm underneath and come down to rest on your left ear, your left shoulder. And you can use that right hand in front of you. You can reach it to the ceiling or wrap it behind you. You may even extend your right leg out to push you onto the back of that shoulder a little bit more. We're just breathing around the back of your left shoulder and just feeling all of your breath behind you. Maybe an exaggerated breath that feels like you're pulling your shoulder blade a little bit away from your ribs. This place where we have knots and tension. Take one more deep breath here on the left side. And as you exhale, begin to unwind. 
come back to a neutral position. Tabletop, let's tuck our toes and lift into downward facing dog. You might move your heels around here and just notice left side of your shoulders and right side. Left armpit, right armpit. Might feel a little unbalanced. So let's go back and fix that. Tabletop position. Arm, right arm reaches high. And then exhale, scoop it through. Come onto the back of your right shoulder. And then just playing with all those options. The left hand can be in front of you, overhead or behind. I like to use the foot to kind of leverage back onto the shoulder a bit more. Exaggerate the breath behind your shoulder. Deep, slow, powerful breaths. One more nice deep breath here. And on the exhale, begin to unwind, coming back to a tabletop position. Turning the toes under, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. Let's see if there's a little more balance there. Let's all take a deep breath in with an audible exhale. Ha. <sighs> On the inhale, step your right foot up toward the top of your mat, and we're just gonna drop the back knee. I'm just gonna do one posture here that helps us come into the hip flexors. If you've been working from home, you've probably been sitting a lot. So you can either stay here, or if you'd like, you can start to just lift that back knee, staying on the top of your foot a very uncomfortable position, but so helpful in finding length across the hip flexors and the quads, all the way down the front of that knee. See if you can feel a connection between your hip flexor and your heart. You feel the place in your body where they come together where they share space in your torso. The top of that long hip flexor muscle in the back of your heart. If your knee is up, let it come back to the ground. And then we'll use this front knee to bring us to a more upright position. So see if you can come to a little bit more of a, a release rather than pressure on that hip flexor. And then bring your hands to your heart and we're gonna twist to the right. Just twist to the right and kind of see how that feels in your body. Moving back to center. Shifting forward now, lengthening the spine. Let's twist to the right again and maybe hook the elbow to the knee. You can make a fist with your left hand and press down on the fist with your right hand. Shoulders are stacked. And again, just finding a connection between hip flexors and shoulders, heart. Let's release that. Bring the hands to the floor. Tuck the back toes under and let's move again to downward facing dog. And if you like, you can shake out that right leg or maybe take a vinyasa. Those of you that are hungry for some yogi push-ups, take some time here to just move through vinyasa. And when you're ready, bring your left foot to the top of your mat. Drop your right knee. 
breathing in deeply, big exhales. And you can stay here or if you like, just lift that back knee and find length through the whole front right side of your body. Shoulder, heart, belly, hips, quads, lower leg, all connected. And then releasing that knee to the ground if it's up, press on this top leg and come to a more upright position. Kind of square 90 degrees in both knees. Hands to the heart, twist to your left. And just kind of prep, prep your spine for a twist. And then returning to center, let's shift forward over the leg and twist now. Elbow hooking, you can make a fist, just press down on that fist. Looking for length in the spine as much as a twist. Left shoulder blade hugging onto the back. Heart open. Pleasant look on your face. Gentleness in your body. And then releasing that, bringing that leg back. Let's come up one more time into downward facing dog. You can shake that leg out or again, take a vinyasa if you like. Lowering to your belly. And lifting up. And then let's all come back to a seat. Getting ready to lower down onto our back. So bring your heels to the front edge of your mat. Arms reaching in front of you and then just slowly lower all the way down. Find yourself down on your back. And once you get there, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself that nice little rocking motion side to side, knees to chest. Maybe happy baby if that feels good to your body. Move your knees in a circle in one direction and then the other. And then planting your feet on the floor, let's lift up one more time into bridge pose. So coming up into this first stop or interlacing your fingers. If you wanna use that block underneath your hips for supported bridge, that's always kind of nice to just rest here. And if wheel poses in your practice, find that giant heart opener. If you have room around you, it might be good to just do some snow angel arms, noticing if there's any more space around your heart. And then let's draw the knees in and take the legs up for waterfall. If you want to put that block under your hips or just your fists or a pillow will work. This being upside down gives us a new perspective, a new way to look at the world. Take some slow breaths here while circulation reverses. Maybe move your feet, flex and point and circle. I hope the microphone doesn't pick up my snap crackle pop of my ankles.
And then let's just release the feet to the floor. If there's something under your hips, you can move that. Take the right ankle over the left knee and pull the legs in. For a reclining pigeon, you can push that knee away from you for a little bit more. Drawing a connection between your right hip and your right shoulder. Finding the space they share, the middle of your torso, where they meet. And switching sides, left ankle, right knee. And as you pull in, you can push that left leg away. And we're preparing to move into Shavasana, our final rest. And so if there's any other posture or movement that you desire before you come to rest, you're welcome to do that now. It might give us about five minutes in Shavasana. So if you want to cover up or Find some props to help it be more comfortable. You can do that now. And I'm going to guide you into relaxation just with a short body scan. And at the end of Shavasana, I will be playing a singing bowl for you. So I'll start it softly at first, but I invite you to just listen to the sound of this singing bowl in the tone of the heart. So as you feel ready, close your eyes. Notice your whole body resting here, whole body, all of you. And see if there's any part of your body that's just asking for your attention right now. And if you like, you can put a hand on that body part as a symbol of just care and nurturing. Feel the weight of your body here on the earth. And as your body is now at rest, your body has found stillness. Know that your soul is grateful to have this quiet place to rest. Feet heavy. Legs heavy, torso heavy, shoulders heavy, arms heavy, head heavy, heart light, breath easy. Mind settled.
Beginning to come back from your restful place, the awareness, your breath, the small movements. Slowly begin to find your way back to a seated position. And once you get there, just bring one or both of your hands over your heart, that soft, beautiful place called heart center. That bud just opening to new life here in the spring. Abandon all these attitudes of wanting to prolong pleasure and avoid suffering. Let the heart be itself and feel whatever is there. Freedom from clinging and avoiding. The heart regains its poise and revels in creation, plunging deep into its center. Discover that the heart is moved by a pulse that is everywhere. As we bring our hands to heart center, I invite you to just look at the screen and if you haven't, um, turn it back to gallery view so you can see the beautiful faces in front of you. And as you look at these faces, maybe choose one. Maybe choose one face. heart is moved by a pulse that is everywhere. Your heart and my heart share the same pulse. We're all in this together, my friends, and I'm so, so grateful that you're taking time for yourself, for yoga, and to connect. Have an amazing day. Namaste.